हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू एन आई ओ एस स्टूडियो आई डॉक्टर रितिका शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एमिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एजुकेशन एमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी उत्तर प्रदेश इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस विद यू सोसाइटी एंड एजुकेशन लिंकेज एजुकेशन इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल वेपन विच यू कैन यूज टू चेंज द वर्ल्ड वंस सेट बाय नैंसल मंडेला एजुकेशन हैज अ ग्रेट सोशल सिग्निफिकेंस it determines its destination in the light of social objectives the desires of society are the ultimate aims of education the linkage between these two concepts are so strong that it is not possible to separate them because what happens to one affects the other we cannot imagine our society without the functioning of educational institution as social institution similarly we cannot run our educational institution without the contribution of society educational institutions are micro societies which reflect the entire society the education system in any given society prepares the child for future life and instills in him those skills that will enable him to live a useful life and contribute to the development of society education as a social phenomenon does not take place in a vacuum or isolation it takes place in the society and this normally begins from the family which is one of the social institution responsible for education of the child in fact education helps an individual to become a useful member of the society because an educated member certainly has a great chance to contribute to his community through participating in ongoing changes and developments society and education both are interdependent to know the linkage between society and education it is very important to discuss that what are the social functions of education for the betterment of society let us discuss the social functions of education transmission of cultural heritage this is one of the major social function of education promotion of equality reconstruction of values and very important social role institution as to complete socialization process there are some other social functions of education such as it helps in social change social control and social mobility it also helps us in making the world safer as well as peaceful education as social institution provides scope for new knowledge on the one side where education helps us in the development of personality side by side it also helps us in overall development of individual the role of education as an agent or instrument of social change and social development is widely recognized nowadays social change may take place when human need changes and when the existing social system fails to meet the existing human needs when new material suggest better ways of meeting human needs let us discuss these key concepts one by one social change it includes modification in social techniques social relationships behavior patterns folk ways more and institutions and how this modification is possible in the society there is no doubt that education as a social institution is the only solution for any kind of desirable change in the society second is social control for social solidarity in society the behavior of its members are controlled through various rules and regulations again in society rules and regulations 
for the members of society could be better framed by the educated persons. So, in this way, education also plays a very important role in social control. One of the social role which education plays in society is the positive change in the social status that is social mobility. It refers the movement of individual and group position or status in social hierarchy of any society. Social mobility has two main element, social status and income. Both social status and income can be gained by the individual with the help of education. For example, as in our country, education is made the fundamental right to the children. It means that every child has equal opportunity that he or she can avail facility of education and definitely that will lead to the positive changes in social mobility. The social position, status and economic conditions of people changes from time to time. As we all know that our society is dynamic in nature. In many cases, social status and economic standards of person changes due to hard work or education or purely due to superior intellect. Our social roles, our social status is also not permanent. It also changes with the social context. So what could be the desirable change a person can have in his life is directed by education. Better education and better service also help in change of socially disadvantaged groups like people belonging to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes or other backward classes. Such type of changes which are observed in social status, social class, economic conditions and standard of life of a person are spoken of as social mobility. The education social role also helps to make world safer and peaceful. Education affects our understanding of the difference between right and wrong. Once we get education, we come to know that what should be our actions for the welfare of the society. It makes us aware of our rights and responsibilities towards the society. Hence, education is an important factor which contributes in social harmony and peace. It also provides scope for new knowledge. Education is the way to acquire knowledge to achieve success in its life. It helps us to prepare for the future. As we all know that our society is drastically changes due to many inventions and discoveries in our country. Let us take example of this session. Earlier in our education system, it was not possible that a teacher and a student who are sitting far away can interact through each other. But due to contemporary technological revolution through internet, multimedia, a communication made the whole world as one village. Education and personality development is also a linkage with the society. Because education helps in the development of qualities which are desirable in the society. We all know that our personality is the organization of our psychophysical system. Internal as well as external factors both contribute towards our personality development. For this, Education helps for emotional makeup as well as temperament and character building. With the help of education, formation of attitudes, habits and traits can be made the part of personality. Overall development of all aspects related with human behavior and education plays a very important role in the development of individual. One of the very important social role of education is to promote equality. 
education helps to bring desirable change in the society. It gives us strength to bring all desirable changes which are required for the betterment of the society. Education gives equal opportunities to all. There are so many schemes which our government is running nowadays to bring equality among members of society. Education helps us to strength empowerment and gender equality. It is the role of education that nowadays we are giving equal preference to women in every field, in every aspect of the society. Education also helps us to bring backward section into mainstream and making them the equal and important contributor of the society. Education also helps in the overall development of the individual because every individual has different capability and capacity. Our education is the way to bring modification in the behavior of individual so that the individual can think logically, critically and analytically. It also facilitates cooperation and partnership which are the essential components for the individual's development. Development of one's potential for self makes an individual self-efficient to take part in decision making. Decision making is one of the important component towards individual development. Moral values, social values like cooperation, tolerance, fellow feelings, love, affection, respect towards elder, helping the poor and needy person. All these values can be inculcated among individual with the help of education. Now, let us discuss a very important social role of education that is the linkage of education and culture. Each society has its own cultural heritage which they preserve and transmit to next generation. The most important role of education is to transmit the tradition, culture, skill and knowledge to the new members of the society. Thus culture is the most common link between society and education. There are three main roles of education in context to the culture. Education helps to preserve the culture. Second, it helps to transmit culture. And third, it also helps to development of culture. How education helps us in preservation of culture? Each society believes the advantage of its own culture over the rest. Hence, it tries to preserve its culture in its original form. And education is the only mean to complete this task. Through education, we can preserve our culture and in the next stage, we can transmit our culture. The process of preservation includes the process of transmission as well. Transmission of culture from one generation to another is the best guarantee of its preservation. In the words of Otway, the famous sociologist, the function of education is to transmit the social values and ideals to the young and capable members of the society. The function of education is to bring about the needed and desirable changes in the cultural ideals and values for the progress and continued development of the society. So role of education is not limited to preservation and transmission of culture, but it is also equal important how to develop our culture. Because without the development of culture, our social progress will stratify and come to a naught. Education modifies cultural processes by research and deeper investigation into all areas of human requirements. Now, 
education as a social institution also helps in reconstruction of values. Reconstruction refers to the modification and upgradation of the components of a phenomenon or ideology. Reconstruction includes the re-evaluation of those values, traditions and thoughts which are directly concerned with the human life affairs. Social values are contributing to the cause of social stability. The social needs change with the change of time. In the circumstance, it seems essential to harmonize the social values with the help of social needs. This is the linkage between education and society that education constantly evaluate the social values. It should also have an eye on the phenomenon to what extent social values are contributing to the cause of social stability. Education plays an important role in the socialization process of a child. As we all know that family and education are two major social institutions of society which helps in socialization process of a child. It is a transmission process which formal and informal knowledge or skill is transmitted in either different or same generation. It is a process where a person learns about role, status and values that should have in a society. It is a constant learning because socialization is a dynamic process and it can change individual's behavior so that it can be adapted into current society. There are some important agencies of socialization in the society. First one is family. As we all know that family is the first learning place for a child. It is a place, it is an organization, institution where learning of social values takes place. Habit formation is directly linked with the kind of education we are giving to our children in the family. The second chief agency of socialization is school, where we can inculcate social values and social interaction also takes place in schools among the different members of society. The school is said to be next to the family in terms of importance as far as socialization is concerned. The school combines the formal and informal approaches to its socializing function. Education system socializes students to become members of society to play meaningful role in the complex network of independent positions. It helps in shaping values and attitudes to the needs of contemporary society. Education widens the mental horizon of pupils and teaches them new ways of looking at themselves and their society. It offers young people opportunities for intellectual, emotional and social growth. Thus, education can be influential in promoting new values and stimulating adaptation of changing conditions. It is the process through which people learn attitude, values and action appropriate to individuals as members of a particular culture. Through education, we learn what is appropriate behavior as a member of a smaller group within a large society. It is the process of learning behavior in a social institution and development of social skills can take place for the individual development as well as for the society. Therefore, dear learners, we can say education plays its continuous role in all spheres of our life. We cannot imagine a society without its education institution and on the other side, Education as a social institution could not work effectively if there is no linkage with the society. Both these are 
interdependent towards achievement of their set goals. Dear learners, with this discussion, I'll close this session. We will meet in next session. Till then, thank you.